After one month and a half, WEC is finally back. This week we're gonna have the Lone Star Le Mans race which will be the sixth round of the 2024 season and promises to be very exciting again like it has been this year. So let's check now the 11 stories you must watch in this race in the hypercar class. Coda is returning to the WEC after being absent for four years. This track is located at Austin in Texas and is the same place which we have the United States Grand Prix in Formula 1. Coda has been in the WEC between 2013 and 2017 and had an unexpected return in 2020 because the six hours of Sao Paulo was removed from the calendar due to the financial issues. In 2022 and 2023, WEC competed at Sebring with the 1000 miles race when they went to the USA. However with disagreements between ACO and IMSA about Sebring, WEC needed to find a new place to race in the USA and with that, Coda returned to the category. At least this was a good news because we had good races there in the past. It will be the first time that the LMH and LMDH cars will be competing at Coda because the hypercar class was introduced in 2021. Because of it, no teams have an idea about what would be the race performance at Austin. Which team will be better this weekend? Coda will be the home race for Cadillac Racing which is operated by Chip Ganassi Racing. And because of it, most of the American people will be very exciting to watch the caddy having a great performance and who knows to fight for the win. And besides being officially under German flag because Porsche belongs to Germany, we need to remember that Penske team is also an American team because they have a legendary story in the USA especially in the IndyCar series. Porsche Penske No. 6 with Andre Lauderer, Kevin Ester and Lawrence Vanthor is the current leader in the Hypercar Championship with 117 points. Winner at the season opener at Qatar and three second places at Imola, Spa Francorchamps and Sao Paulo rounds, the six crew aims to be the first team to get a second win at the WEC top class in 2024 at Coda and to extend the current 19 points of advantage to the second place in the championship. We need to take a look at them because they have been very solid this season. And now let's talk about its sister car number 5. With two pole positions and three podiums, the number 5 crew didn't win yet this year. With a better lineup compared to last year, Fred Makowiecki, Matt Campbell and Michael Christensen didn't have a chance to win because its sister car the number 6 is having a better performance. Will we see the number 5 winning at Coda and to become a sixth different winner in the hypercar class in 2024? Since its debut in 2023, Ferrari only won at Le Mans twice last year and in 2024, but never in another WEC circuits. The best chance they had to win was at Imola, but a wrong strategy when the rain came made them lose the victory and they also lost at Spa Francorchamps because of the red flag caused by an accident involving Earl Bamber and Sean Jello. Will the Maranello team win at Coda or not? Twenty twenty four is the first season for BMW in the hypercar class and it's struggling for a while, not having real chances to fight for the win. But we know that WRT is a very competitive team in sportscas and they're getting infos on the track to understand better the M hybrid V8. But will Coda be a good chance to shine for the BMW WRT team? Even Peugeot launching a new version of the 9x8 LMH car for the 6 hours of Imola round, 2024 has not been a great season for the French manufacturer with disappointing results since then. Peugeot has been very far for the fight for the podiums like it happened at Le Mans and Monza last year and also at Qatar this year and this disappoint a lot the drivers, especially Jean-Éric Verne who said at Sao Paulo that they need a better car. Could Coda be a turning point for the French Lions and to be solid in the top 10? Twenty twenty four is also the first year for Lamborghini in the hypercar class. And with less experiences with prototype cars, it was expected that the Squadra course would not have a very impressive performance at the beginning. For a while its best result was a 10th place at Le Mans with the number 63 and they had a good performance at Sao Paulo even the 17th place. Will they compete well at Coda?
Hertz Team Jota No. 12 was the only team to win in an overall race which was the 6-hour of Spa Francorchamps and also finished on the podium at Qatar in second place this year. Proton Competition almost had this chance at Spa but Red Flag didn't let this happen. AF Course 83 was fighting for the win at Le Mans, but a mechanical issue forced them to retire from the race. Will we see a customer team competing well at Coda and to fight for the win? And in Coda, unfortunately we will not have Isada Fraschini competing because the small Italian manufacturer decided last week to withdraw at the WEC and will not take part of the rest of the season. And with that, we will only have 18 cars in the top class in the USA this weekend. So these were my preview in the hypercar class for this weekend at Coda. Who's going to win in the Lone Star Le Mans race? Which team are you going to support? So let me know your opinion in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not lose any more videos about WEC. We see you in the next video.